Shadow and Bone is a brand new Netflix series that's based on the best-selling YA novels by Lee Bardugo. Now, over the last couple of weeks, we've had the tremendous opportunity to speak to its cast and its creators. And today I'm going to be speaking to the mind herself, the creator of the Grishaverse, Lee Bardugo, as well as Shadow and Bone showrunner Eric Heiserer. Check it out. Cool. Um uh, Lee, my first question is for you. Um, every time I speak to an author, I'm always curious as to how they feel when something like this happens. I mean, when you get that call and say, hey, we're going to turn your book into a show or a movie, is it anxiety and apprehension or is it, yes, let's do this? <laughs> a little of both. I mean, I think that, uh, I think that any author approaches uh, the idea, idea of adaptation with a certain amount of fear and trepidation because it can go horribly wrong. But I think as yes, soon as it I can. <laughs> yes, it can. But I think as soon as I sat down with Eric, I felt a lot of confidence. Um, you have to have a lot of trust going into this, and it is certainly a gamble. But I felt like we really took the right gamble um, with Netflix and, and with Eric. Very cool, um, Eric. You do something that's quite unusual in this series, which is, of course, you kind of merge a whole bunch of novels. Talk to me about the process behind that. Technically, we don't necessarily do the, the, the Six of Crows duology books, but we had an opportunity here to really showcase the grand world and the scope of the world that Lee had built by demonstrating or introducing our crows at a time before we pick up with them in, in the canon literature. Uh, when you're planning these things, Eric, is it, um, do you go in with a five-year plan or do you try, I mean, how do you work as a writer and a showrunner? Do you think, okay, I'm not going to jinx it. We're going to do this one, one season at a time. Uh, I certainly, I, I don't want to jinx it. I'm always hopeful for more. And of course, the moment you start working with this amazing cast, my costume designer, my set designer, all, all of these people, you're just hungry to keep it going. You're hungry to come back and tell more story. Because you know there is. You, like Lee has laid out so much ahead of us, and we want to do our best to honor that. But at the same time, you really can't hold anything back. You want to try and give it your all every season with the idea that it could be the last. Lee, um, uh, just thinking about the Grishaverse and, um, and other authors who've had works adapted and how when the adaptation is happening in between the work, sometimes it affects the work. And I was, I was curious as to whether this has made you want to go back and revisit the Grishaverse. I imagine I will come back to the Grishaverse eventually. I don't know when. I needed to know that, that the road was there if Eric and the writers had the opportunity to go down it, um, that I had finished that uh, particular chapter of the journey. Eric, uh, I've got a few minutes left. And, and before I go, I just wanted to ask you about, um, I, I swear to God, I, I, I reread the Arrival screenplay at least once a year. I just think it's absolutely genius. Absolutely. Uh, and um, I'm curious about writing for film versus writing for TV. It's interesting that I would say that one of the big differences between film and TV is TV is so much about creating an, an engine of story and focusing on the, the start of a journey versus a movie where you have the finality in mind. TV really is um, you're building a house that you're going to live in. I had to get used to that. I was, I was not used to... It feels like less control. I mean, it, it, is, it is both less and more control. I could say like, while there is less control, there is much more responsibility, which is a weird thing to have, but that's the balance you end up in. Um, and also there's a strange, uh, and I think really healthy kind of monogamy because it's no longer a case of, I, I show up as a writer on a film, I spend uh, six months to a year working on that. The studio says, all right, get out of my face, shove. And then that's the end of it. And you have to go find another partner and do it again here, knowing that the breakup is going to happen. Here, it's a case of like, you, you better really love this because this is what you're going to be doing for the you know, foreseeable future. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully you do get to do it for the foreseeable future. That's, that's up to viewers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, think, I think that's my time. Uh, but thank you so much, uh, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you and uh, all the best with the show. Thank, thank you, you so much. much.
that was Lee Bardugo and Eric Heiserer, the creator of the Grishaverse and the showrunner of Shadow and Bone. What did you think of the series? Did you binge watch all of the episodes? Did it do justice to the books? Are you looking forward to a potential season two? Sound off in the comments below. And while you're here, don't forget, follow this page, like us, tell your friends about us, and get in touch with us on social media. That's GogglerMY.